long national nightmare is over, at least in Cleveland it is, as Baker Mayfield has finally moved on for the Browns, and I can stop talking about how maybe the Browns should just start Baker Mayfield while Deshaun Watson is serving whatever punishment might be headed his way. Good morning, everybody. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. It's Alan Hahn in for Max. We are presented by Progressive Insurance. Fellas, what up, Baker boys? Mayfield What's up, man? What's moved happening? on. How was your fourth? How was your fourth, Han? It was like a... I forgot. It's like so many days ago. Well, right. I hadn't talked how to is you, your, so... How was your fourth? Gee, why your eye looks so red? Oh, no. Man, it's What happened? You got pink eye? Something. Let's so, hope not. Pink eye? I don't know. The boy, his eyes look like the Terminator right now. Yeah, my Ooh. eye is red. It just irritated. Uh, something got in it. It's like and... you got a tiny eye. <laughs> you got one so tiny I eye. I should have I took off like you, huh, Jay? Huh? You should, you I was, I've been here the last two days. Where you yeah, been? Jay, no, Jay's I'm been talking working. about something. You know, your, your eye, you know, if something's wrong with your eye, you uh, take uh, off for like you, a week. Oh, uh, uh, you got jokes? You got no, jokes? No, I'm just <laughs> saying. You, you be like, oh, oh, I, hey, well, look, I can't hey, see. Well, I have to take off. Well, look, I mean, I mean Max got an eye, had an eye issue. Yeah, I had an eye. This well, is why maybe, yeah. maybe you get Aaron Rodgers' tattoo. You get that third one there, and then... Is that know. a real tattoo, though? That's like henna, man. You think it's henna? You think that's, that's henna? henna? <laughs> we'll uh, talk about well, Aaron Rodgers and stuff and all that coming up, but but still, uh, headline guys. Of, of, God, I hadn't seen you in a while, man. Slow down. Stop, Sports stop is not to going to anywhere. It. Yeah. Jeez. Baker's going to be here, <laughs> Like, huh? I just seen you. Like, come on. Huh? Relax. <laughs> Calm down. We're going to get there. It's like, <laughs> huh? Just like... Yeah. Just trying to go get, slower, Key. Just slow the car down. Trying huh? to get into the show a little bit. I mean, we're into the show. The fact news. that we're on television and on radio that means we're in the show. I That's see. all it means. We don't have to. We don't have to start off exactly at at six oh one and dive right into Baker Mayfield's when I haven't seen you guys since last Friday. You're looking a little bit darker, Key. You've been in the sun. Oh no! Yeah, apparently sure. you can only yeah. see everyone with one eye. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on oh, with the show? My eye just eyes. red. It's just I don't know what it is. It'll go away. I'm not worried. Now, now y'all gonna zoom in on my damn eye. What the hell's wrong with <laughs> you? Just, it looks swollen. Yeah, close up. Let's just check that out. Make sure there's no issues. Yeah, it looks like you can barely see like a, 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 a I mean, boxer. It could be a scratch cornea. You know, we no, could have a little just, issue there. It's just uh, it's not blurry or anything like that. It just has a little something redness. in the LA smog Brrr. just caught you like on your way to work today. Maybe that's no, it had, it had something got in it last night. And it's cut, me, in Mick. Tiger. cut me, Mick. I can't, I can't see out there. I can't see. <laughs> cut me, Mick. <laughs> Yesterday was Sylvester Stallone's birthday, so we could oh, uh, look at that. celebrate a little Rocky there. But, I'm just, but Jay, and you, Rocky, I think the and fact Anthony that Davis you... Getting traded to L.A. You're too damn uh, observant, Jay. You've noticed dark skin, red <laughs> eye. I mean, like... Well, you got one eye that looks like it's damn near shut. The other eye, I'm just trying. I'm just calling out the obvious, Key. No, Key's looking eye. like Bill the Cat in the morning, just all like. Wow. <laughs> Jay, just turn, just... turn the good eye towards the camera, like like half, like. But see, look, I, look. I'm mad, huh? No, Key, don't try to call me out. See, Jay, if you had a hurt eye, you'd be out for a week. See, why, 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 got to be like that? But That's you started. Aggressive. Once you started, <laughs> I had to let the audience man. know if your eye was irritated. A week out. <laughs> Easy. Now, Not I, even a question. I sent you a picture of my knee with the ice on it. I'm here now with the hurt. I'm here. So there ain't no excuses, Key. I'm here. But your knee been hurt ever since. <laughs> Never mind. All right, all right, it's time to go. The knee, the knee is You're not hurt on for 20 camera. years, the damn eye, The eye certainly what? is. I think, Key, you could put on some sunglasses if you want, if you're feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Like right. I'm okay. You, you don't have to look at me every single day. Well, you literally just said we haven't seen you, and now that well, we see I meant you, when like I said every single day, well, I'm talking about like up close, in my face, in the, those sort. That's what I meant. I, I could, maybe I could have elaborated on it a little bit more, but I didn't because I wanted to. I know you're itching to get to I'm Baker not Mayfield. Go, go ahead, Han. Huh? Get into it. Itching. You're get the into it. big guy. That's the Panthers, you Baker itch. Mayfield. There's no itchy. Now, now you want me to get... See, this is amazing. Let's go. I'm trying to get Pick a show up. going. It's like, whoa, slow down. Now it's like, hurry up. Get into the show. What are you doing? Because I can feel it in you. <laughs> I can feel it. I'm no, like there's nothing. Me. There's nothing to feel. I'm numb. The Baker Mayfield trade to the Carolina Panthers. There's that voice, Key. Do go into your host voice. Oh, we're going into host voice now? <laughs> go ahead, Key. Take it away. No, you guys are all right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, okay. But, oh, 
I'm doing great. It's great to see you guys. By the way, it's great to be back with you guys as we will for the next two days. I wait, hope you had a great on, fourth, on, like five days ago. I forgot you to tell Jay. You can't tell to get into it. I know, uh, but I forgot, to tell, I forgot to tell Jay that I did not have to source out Chase lounges just so that you. Know. I got your video. Okay. I got. I got. Right, now you can go, huh? Three minute video for the whole breakdown. We'll get into that later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a video breakdown. So oh, we got. Really yeah. Great. All right. Well, with he the went three, technical on me with about the how three to get minutes the... We have left in this segment. <laughs> Let's just what happened get yesterday? into headline yesterday. Yes. So the Carolina Panthers trade for Baker Mayfield, the former number one overall pick in the 2018 draft. But just funny thing about Cleveland and their quarterbacks, guys, Baker Mayfield seemed like they finally found the one, right? He played less games with the Browns than Tim Couch. Like, I find that to be hard to believe, right? Like, they thought they finally had their guy. They don't. And they trade him for what is either to be a fourth or fifth round pick in 2024. It'll be a fourth if he plays 70% of the snaps. Panthers only paying just under $5 million of the salary. Cleveland's going to pick up 10.5, and Baker was actually agreed just to make the deal go down uh, to convert the remainder into incentives that he could earn back, obviously, this year. So it's him and Sam Darnold, who coincidentally was taken number three overall in the 2018 draft. He's on the roster, rookie Matt Corral, who they traded up uh, in, into the draft in the third round so they could draft him from Ole Miss. So that's what they have going on there. Jake Trotter, who covers the Browns for ESPN, had this to say about how the financials allowed all this to go down. You know, I have been told that the Browns were never going to come up above $11 million of, of Baker's $19 million guarantee. And that's exactly what happened. They did not come over eleven. million. Uh, what happened was is Baker is eating a portion of the salary. And I think that's what actually greased the wheels to make the trade happen. I think Baker is eating, I can't do math on the fly, but like three or four million dollars. Uh, wow. You know, Carolina's taken on, uh, you know, roughly four. Uh, that's what finally facilitated the trade. I think that was oh, the yeah. dynamic that changed. That wow there, by the way, some of my best work. Um, reaction key to this move and, and what it might mean for Baker and for the Carolina Panthers, especially Matt Rule. Well, I instructed not directly uh, to Baker Mayfield quite some time ago to take a pay cut, to get to Seattle or wherever, uh, whoever was looking to trade for him. Because certainly once you start to give back a little something, things open up for you. And Carolina Panthers certainly got the best of this, right? They get a free look. They pay $4 million for a Baker's basic backup type quarterback. If he beats out Sam, he's a starter. If he doesn't beat out Sam, Sam's a starter. He's the backup. And that's the way it goes. So, you know, Cleveland knew at some point Baker Mayfield as a player wanted to get back on the football field to show his worth, and he would certainly take a pay cut to be able to do that. And I think that is what got the deal done. I just thought if he have did it, Seattle was just seemed like a better destination for me, given the fact that the head coach in Seattle and Pete Carroll is the one who's actually running the operation. I was happy for him yesterday. I think my initial reaction was, good for you, Baker, right? Um I know you took a salary cut, but this is an opportunity for you to prove your worth. And, look, coming off that surgery, off his torn labrum, if he's healthy, he has a chance to go against Sam Darnold. But huh, my, my mind did automatically go to, after I showed appreciation for Baker Mayfield, how are you going to win that locker room over? Like, what's mm -hmm. the strategy now that you've gotten an option to play for the Panthers? How do you come in, get that starting position, and get people to buy into you personally as a leader and that's going yeah. to be a process that's that's the biggest part of really for him i think going forward is that question mark of can he be a leader and can he take can he get the command of a locker room which is such an important thing for a quarterback especially a guy like him so we'll get into that coming up 888 say espn 